And in our top business story, DP World's flagship Jebel Ali Port is the world's most productive, according to the latest report from US-based Journal of Commerce. The rankings are based on the average moves of containers per ship per hour in 2013, as reported by shipping lines themselves, representing more than 75% of global vessel capacity. Jebel Ali Port led the industry with an average of 138 moves per vessel hour. According to the report, the port beat 483 worldwide and topped the list of the world's top 25 after the analysis of more than 150,000 port calls. Jebel Ali also tops the list of ports, handling ships with capacity of more than 8,000 TEU with an impressive 163 MPH. His Excellency Sultan Ahmed bin Suleyem, the chairman of DP World, was quoted as saying that we have invested significantly in infrastructure, equipment, technology and training at Jebel Ali to ensure that we serve our customers efficiently and help them realise the benefits of scale that the new larger vessels bring. In the first nine months of 2014, DP World's terminals in the UAE handled 11.4 million TEU, representing growth of 12.6% year-on-year, and yet another record was achieved with 4 million TEU handled in the third quarter. Dubai's SKAI Holdings has announced that it has completed just over 30% of construction of the Viceroy Dubai Palm Jumeirah project. According to reports, China State Construction Engineering Corporation, the project's main contractor and a key investor, has now begun structural works on level 14 of the 16-storey building. Work has also commenced on the fit-out and mechanical, electrical and plumbing works. The 1.2 billion US dollar development will boast 479 rooms and suites and 222 signature residences. The beachside property will host 10 restaurants as well as a gourmet market and bakery. All available hotel rooms and service departments have already been sold and the property is set to open in 2016. The advertising spend per capita is currently valued at 50 US dollars for the Gulf and 15 US dollars for the entire MENA region. This is considerably low compared to the average of 400 US dollars in developed countries. That's according to MediaQuest. While the marketing and advertising industry in the MENA region has grown tremendously in the past decade, it is still in its infancy but has great growth potential. This was widely reflected at the glittering ceremony held at the Maidan Hotel on Wednesday night. From its humble beginnings back in 2004 as the Gulf Marketing Review Effective in Marketing Awards, today it has evolved into the most prestigious and much coveted professional marketing prize. The FEs continually raise the bar for marketing excellence through the Global FE, the Euro FE, FE Asia Pacific, and more than 40 national FE programs, including the FE MENA Awards. Organizers say that through this, they have seen progress in the industry over the years. Annually, they have seen the number of entries increase from 80 in its inaugural run to 720 this year. Year on year, the, the entries that we have are becoming much, much more and the quality of those entries are becoming bigger. People are trusting the, 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 uh, um, the credibility of the event, giving us more numbers, hence showing how uh, effective their marketing campaigns are. Uh, and every year we're growing. We started as an, around 250 people. Today we have around 1,400, which is almost everybody in the industry. One of the major differences that exists between FEs and other awards is that FE measure the effectiveness of an advertising campaign. So basically it means that for every dollar that is invested by a brand, it's having far more than a dollar in return. So it is the most prestigious award that any marketing manager, any brand in this part of the world could have. So. To answer your question, it's one of the most significant awards and all brands that are able to show 
and agency to show FEs are actually showing something to their clients and to the management, which is whatever they did matters and it translated into sales for the brand and for the company. Award winners were selected from 65 shortlisted campaigns by a panel of regional and international marketing experts. Categories included 14 products and service categories, four speciality categories, the most effective MENA agency of the year and the most effective MENA agency office of the year. The agency FP7 took home most of the awards. As for the rest of the participants, they say they welcome the competition. I think it takes a lot of passion, it takes a lot of hard work and uh, a lot of enthusiasm for making it big. Uh, of course, consumer insights, research and all the scientific areas play a role, but it's primarily passion and insights. Well, we've been shortlisted in the CSR category for uh, Community Development Authority which is uh, one of the clients of uh, Spark and we've been nominated for a child protection campaign which has already won in, uh, internationally uh, but you know today we've been shortlisted at the FEs. The wait for the new Ford Mustang is finally over as here in Dubai the Ford Motor Company officially unveiled the 2015 Mustang model at the top of the Burj Khalifa. The global launch of the stunning muscle car coincides with its 50th anniversary as William Ford Jr., the executive chairman of Ford Motor Company, placed the pony badge on the new vehicle at the 112th floor of the Burj Khalifa to mark the inauguration of the 2015 Ford Mustang. The 2015 model makes its global appearance with a sleek new design and upgraded 5-litre V8 engine with 420 horsepower. The launch of the iconic vehicle also comes in line with the establishment of Ford's Middle East and Africa business unit in Dubai this year, from where they oversee 67 markets. Describing it as a vibrant region and final frontier for growth in the auto industry, the executive chairman stated that the launch reflects the global reach of the Ford Mustang. According to Ford Middle East, industry sales are expected to grow 40% to reach 5.5 million vehicles by 2020. Additionally, it was also announced that 25 new vehicles, including the new Mustang, are expected to be launched in the region by 2016. Well, we're planting the Ford uh, flag in our newest region, Mideast in Africa, and uh, we're doing it with our most iconic vehicle, the Mustang on top of the world's tallest building. I mean, the whole place is relatively new, and it's, uh, I've never seen anything like it, frankly. Um, it's its uh, startling, and uh, it's gonna be a great market for us. I thought the Empire State Building was tall. Uh, this is amazing up here, and it's, it really, you know, Dubai is, you know, the, the slogan is where anything's possible, and you really feel that when you're here. And Mustang is all about freedom and possibility, so it's a great fit. 